ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video for Friday morning, the 9th of January. James Spann here. Uh, we'll have some rain to deal with tomorrow and a blast of cold Arctic air next week. As the active weather pattern rolls along, let's take a look out the window this morning at some Skycam images. First off, from downtown Birmingham, things are calm and cold. Readings hovering around freezing in most spots. There's a Gadsden Skycam. The Coosa beginning to fall there as the flood crest rolls on downstream. And up in Walker County, a look at downtown Jasper from the King Building, where some of the rural spots around there are reporting upper 20s this morning. There's our water vapor satellite view. The uh, pattern is beginning to de-amplify just a little bit as the trough that brought the colder air has moved off the east coast, but uh, we'll see another trough developing next week that promises to make this place pretty cold. Numbers this morning across the state, you can see some 20s to the north. Gadsden showing 28, the Birmingham Airport 35. These, by the way, are at 4 a.m., the ridiculous hour that it is. And around the nation, coldest air over the east, and we continue to watch that very cold air that's just off this map over Alaska and northwest Canada that's due in here next week. QPF chart, this is suggesting three-quarters of an inch of rain on Saturday. This is valid, by the way, through uh, Tuesday evening of next week. And again, not so sure we get that much. Uh, we're still talking a quarter to a half inch. Uh, certainly nothing like the deluge we saw earlier this week. But let's jump right into modeling here since... Uh, Next week is the topic of concern. This is the 06Z GFS, valid at noon today. Trough uh, developing off in the west. That'll bring some rain tomorrow, but today looks nice. Sunny with a high close to 60 tomorrow. There comes the rain. This run a little slower. This is suggesting the better chance of rain could be tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. And maybe the lifted index goes a little below zero, so a little isolated thunder not out of the question. But again, the uh, air mass will not have a lot of time to recover, so that's the reason we're expecting one quarter to one half inch of rain. Then Sunday, that's on by a dry and cool day with a high in the upper 40s, maybe around 50. And Monday of next week looks cool and dry as well. All right, here we go. Tuesday, the 13th. Uh, very cold trough developing over the eastern U.S. with a ridge pumping up over the uh, Pacific coast. Down below that, uh, the air begins to turn colder. It will be dry Tuesday, but it sure looks like the coldest air will be holding off until the latter part of the week. There's a look at Wednesday. as a 1,052 millibar high pushing in from North Dakota. That's very cold. And uh, again, that's suggesting and the thickness values are not going to tell the story. The models won't handle this well. It has been as cold as it's been in a long time in Alaska. Models have not understood the air up there. They won't understand it down here. But we think Wednesday will be sharply colder with a high possibly in the 30s. That looks like a dry day. Thursday, a strong Vortmax uh, pivots north of here, and that turns it awfully cold on Thursday. The uh, 1,044 millibar high is on the Red River. A strong northerly flow. Uh, again, that would suggest a high only in the mid-30s, maybe low 30s. Up in the Tennessee Valley, they might not get out of the 20s on Thursday, but it's dry. Uh, this, this run shunts the precipitation down to the south. And again, you'll hear me say this again. I, what we know is going to be awfully cold over the latter part of next week. Any ice or snow, we don't know that. And you're going to see a lot of different model runs, but uh, uh, it might come right back. And then Friday, cold and dry as the pattern begins to lift out. So... Uh, again, we're going to ha headline very cold air for the latter part of next week, the coldest air so far this season, and uh, maybe in a few years. And again, the issue of any freezing rain or snow here, we'll deal with that early next week. We'll have a much better grasp on that. Now, look at the European. You talk about cold. This is Thursday. That's a 1,046 millibar high near Omaha, and uh, that's just tough. I mean, that's, I mean, that, that just speaks for itself. And look at the trough. Uh, if, 500 millibars with that feature. You talk about big-time cold, and that's it. And uh, quickly, we'll jump out there um, to the end of the forecast period, the 24th. That still looks pretty cold, doesn't it, over the east? You get the idea, Inauguration Day in Washington, D.C. might be really, really cold. 
but again, we think the NAO flips positive, so at some point the air should begin to moderate there uh, out there toward the end of this month. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.